Hey, welcome back. It's Fina, and today, no surprise, I have another arty video for you guys. And I'm gonna be painting, but this time not on a canvas. I'm gonna be painting some plant pots. <laughs> so, I've got that huge one, and this slightly smaller one. And then they each have a little dish as well. So I got these because I have a lot of plants, but obviously they outgrow their little homes. They need to go into bigger pots. But plant pots are unnecessarily expensive, I think. And I figured, you know, I can paint. So why not just get a cheap, plain, big guy? And paint it myself. <laughs> so today we're going to see if that's a mistake or not. So I've already, on the smaller one, sketched out a little design. I don't know if you can see it that well, but I have done some sort of leafy branches on it because, you know, plant pot. But I haven't drawn on the bigger one yet. And actually, the main reason that I did the small one already is because I wanted to make sure that the pencil on the pot didn't make that horrific scratchy sound, but it's nice, don't worry. <laughs> no nails on chalkboard here. So today I'm going to draw a design for this pot, and then hopefully paint them both. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I've got a pencil, and I have an inspo pick as well, so I've got sort of like a vague idea of what I want to do, but you know, we'll see how it turns out. So, my vague idea is that I want the pot to be coloured in sort of different, like, pastel colour splotches, with then some like little shapes and leaves on them. So, <laughs> I think I can make that happen. I'm going to start just by drawing out those pastel coloured um, areas, I guess. So let's start from the top. I don't know how big to make them. About that. <laughs> and then I'm going to this one in half, have it go all the way around there. From here. You know what, I really didn't think this through. I don't know what kind of shape I want it to be. Going back to this side. I'm going to do a circle here. It's not like a circle. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then a new big splotch up here. I'm going to try and make it sort of neatly go up over this ridge. Maybe actually. Okay. Over here, I think I'm going to do one that kind of swoops over the top. Like a big old semicircle. Or. Hmm. Actually. Let's 
what we got right now. One big section here. Put up this really big section here then. How about doing a big old blotch in the middle? I'm gonna stick to some little shapes around, I think. Or should I should I paint this first? No, I'm gonna do some shapes first. And then I think I'll paint it. And then on top of that, I'm gonna do some patterns and I'll draw those on after I've painted the bottom. So Maybe I would like more. Huh. Okay. Where these meet here, I'm gonna do another, a semicircle. like where these cross. Just a circle. I'm gonna have to <laughs> make them perfectly round when it actually comes to paint. But don't need to worry about that yet. I've got a really empty region here. Maybe I should do another line. Semicircle's gonna go here. Oh, that one came out not so good. <laughs> you get the dress. Okay, I think that's my base pattern done. So I'm just gonna need to paint that on. But first, let's do the dish as well. So for this, I'm going to keep it simple because you're not going to see it most of the time and also it's going to get some friction, I assume. So I'm just going to do maybe like a half and a half blotch. Okay. <laughs> that didn't go so good. Like that. some water to wash off the brushes and something to dry the brushes with. And then I'm going to be using acrylic paint so I have lots of these just tubes of old paint around that I think I'm going to use. So like I mentioned I'd like mainly pastel colours I think. So I'm going to end up mixing some together to get the perfect shades. I'm going to start with so first off I'm going to try and make sort of a um, peachy colour. So I'm going to start with a good bit of white. And I'm going for quite a lot because I'm going to put it on quite thick. And to that I'm going to add a little bit of pink. Not lots. You know I can change it later. And a little bit of yellow. Let's 
So let's mix that up and see what we get. I feel like I might have put too much pink. Actually, I quite like this. This is not what I was going for. I wanted it to be a paler colour, but I actually like this as well, so I think I'm going to keep it and have it as well as my peachy shade. Yeah, this actually came out to <laughs> A nice pink. So I'm gonna use that, I think. So let's stick it on my first segment. I'm gonna put it on this segment. It's quite a big one. So let's begin. I think it could take a few coats because you can still sort of see that darkness underneath it. And also, I don't think I'm going to be too precious about the edges yet, since it's going to take, you know, a few more colours to go over the rest. Let's just make sure we've covered every bit. Move around slowly. Going around these shapes again, nice and carefully. Actually, not that carefully, <laughs> but you know, semi carefully. And try and smooth out the paint at least a little bit. Doesn't matter the most since I'm going to do another coat on top later, but just to avoid it being patchy. Okay, I think we're nearly done with this section. Looks to that too much pain. <laughs> But hopefully this dries fast enough that I can use that same batch on top. Okay. I'm also going to do, I think, a little way inside. So, I do the rim. Go all the way around there. Oh, it's a big section. And then I'm going to go inside there as well. I don't know how deep to go. 
I think this is probably enough, just because I don't think the dirt will get any lower than this point. So it should look nice and painted <laughs> from the outside. I feel like it's not worth doing the whole inside because you're not going to see it. And also it's just going to get dirty anyway. So this much is good enough for me. Ooh, wet. My first segment there, and actually it's huge, isn't it? <laughs> but time to move on to segment number two, which I think will be this one. So I'm reattempting peach now. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that there for when I do my second coat of the pink and start fresh. So I've got some white. And put some yellow in. I use a lot less white this time because I don't think I have any segments that are that big. And I'm just going to use the same paintbrush with this pink on it and see if that is enough. I think the answer immediately is no. Although it may just have been a case of too much yellow. So let's go ahead and just add a tiny bit more. And by tiny I really do mean drop. Because it's very strong, like potent. <laughs> I'm worried it's gonna oh yep. Overtake it. I think I might also add some more white. Oh, it's coming out just like that one. And mix it all in. That, that is what I want. Oh. Okay. I get the feeling it's probably still going to be a bit too strong. But it's definitely looking better. Okay, I'm happy with this. This is good. Nice peachy colour. Okay, so let's figure out where on my pot I want to put that. I could do it on this section here, and that would continue up here. That's from my second largest. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. I'm gonna start this side so that I've got something to grip onto. I have to try to be a little bit careful with this um, edge now that there's actually a colour there. But I'm not going to worry too much about like the circles because those are going to go on afterwards. So I don't mind overlining that a bit. Line. Let's try to make it at least a bit neat. 
not totally yet because there's still going to be that second coat, but I don't want to mess it up too much. Okay, solid start. This ridge part is a little bit difficult though. Okay. I'll do the top part now as well. Sure how to do this part. I guess I'll just do a straight line, sort of. <laughs> it doesn't matter too much what's going on on the inside. Oh, that might have been too thick. <laughs> I put a bit too much paint in there. I feel like it's going to take too long to dry. Oops. That'll make do. Back to our blotch. I'm gonna do this part next. That's the same bit, really. So I'm just gonna connect them with color. Fill that bit in. I'm not gonna bother with the bottom painting the bottom side of it. I'm just gonna go down to the edge so that when it's sitting on a surface you won't see any patches. Okay, I'm running out of <laughs> room to hang on with. Let's move it out a bit and also just spread around the paint so it's um not too thick anyway, otherwise it's gonna take forever to dry. Ooh, okay. Could fix that later. Now I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna struggle to hold onto it. I also want to try and make it look a bit neater where this ridge is, so it doesn't look too out of, out of place, interrupt the line too much. So let's go around this semicircle. Time to do the top edge. Only a very tiny section. So I just painted that little strip. Okay. So, I'm going to have to try and leave this bit to last so I have something to hold on to. I'm thinking about having orange and blue. Like a tealy blue though, so it's not too out of place. I feel like that will go nicely together. 
So for the orange, I'm going to use the same brush again. I feel like I can get away with that. So let's use that yellow. This one's kind of on a slope, so I hope that's going to be okay. And then a little bit of red, not too much. And then I'm going to add white because I don't want it to be too bright. Let's just do this first. Mm, that's really red still. I think we need more yellow and then a lot of white. This yellow is reaching the end of its life. Let's see how that is. A little better. I think I want it to be quite yellowy orange though. Okay. I have a plan. I'm gonna just take a bit of that and start in a new segment over here so that I can leave behind some of that red pigment instead of making loads of paint just make a new little section over here okay that's better now let's add some of that orange no sorry why You know what? It looks too yellow now, doesn't it? Let's move a bit further over this way then and get some of that red back. Okay, that's pretty good. I think you can maybe even go a bit darker. Take some of that. That looks good to me. Nice middle-ish orange. Okay, so now I just need to decide which bit is going to be orange and which bit is going to be blue. Well, you know what? Actually, purely out of convenience, because I need to hold on to this bit, I'm going to make this the orange bit. We are doing some left hand painting this time, so that I can keep hold of this with my right. But it doesn't need to be absolutely neat, so I think that's okay. Right. I feel like I should um, dull it down a bit, actually, looking at it now. Maybe I will. A great way to sort of mute a colour is to add just a touch of its um, opposite on the colour wheel. So for orange, that would be blue, I think. Blue or purple. But I'm going to purple, so then do blue. I actually also only have a tiny blue, so that's fine. Okay, so I really just mean like a touch. There you go, so that's dulled it a bit. It's not quite so overwhelmingly bright anymore. I'm going to add a bit more of that red, actually. I'm deciding. And just maybe another tiny, tiny touch of the blue. Yep, 
you don't add so much that it becomes green. <laughs> that is the only thing to keep in mind. Just enough to make it a bit duller, a bit more muted. semicircle again. This is not the easiest job in the world with my <laughs> left hand. Let's just try and smooth it out a bit. That's all good. I miscalculated. I actually have two more big sections, but I'm still going to move on and do my blue next. I'm going to keep this orange on hand because I want it to be a tealy blue, so it's going to you know, have a bit of a greenish tinge to it, and I think that orange can help me with that. So I only have this really dark blue, so I'm just going to put a touch of that there. And a good bit of the white. And I'm going to mix it up with my orange paintbrush. Get that nice teal color. This is looking great. This is perfect. Ah, oh, that's great. <laughs> I didn't expect it to come out so quickly, but that's exactly what I wanted. So I can get right to painting it on. Now what I was thinking about is whether I should put it on both of the remaining blotches or whether I should add a fifth colour. I haven't decided yet. Because whichever colour is going on the bottom part, the bottom segment left, needs to go first so I can still hold on to the top one. Um, Maybe I will do this teal on the bottom and then a lighter one on the top, so it's the same colour, just different shades. Or a green. Oh god, I don't know. Okay, right. Let's do the bottom shade with this one. So this is our last splotch here. And there we have it. I really like this shade of blue. I think I would say that this might be one of my favourite colours. Blue is my favourite colour, but I think this shade is especially good. And that's our circle there. This one is significantly more pigmented. I think it's that um, blue paint I use, a different brand, is a bit better. <laughs> it doesn't need as many coats. And my semicircle is here. Streaky. There's a bit of the orange just coming through from underneath. So I'm just going to try and sort of blend that in a bit. But it should hopefully not show over the second coat. Alright. So 
So that leaves me just with this section here. And I think I'm going to do that a paler blue. So let's mix that up. Just get some white on there. And then use the blue from my brush. mix up that paler colour. Try and squeeze off some of that excess paint from the top of the brush. And there we have it. A nice pale shade of blue. So that's going to go on my last section there. So, let's get painting. Going around that circle. Finish off that curve. And then I'm going to have to do this last bit standing up. It's that last part of the um, rim. See if I can find two dry spots to spin it around. Okay, so I can do the inside. Didn't make that much for this color, so hopefully it'll be enough for the second coat too. Although I guess I can just mix up some more with that dark blue that I still have. That's my original pastel coat done. I'm not going to do the little shapes yet because I've got nothing to hold them by. So I'm going to do the um, dish now. I think I'm going to do the dark blue and the orange. Is that too much? Do I do a lighter color? Maybe I'll do that. Mm. I don't know. I'll do the pink, because it doesn't touch the bottom, maybe. Pink and the light blue both don't touch the bottom, so maybe I'll do those two then. Okay, let's get started on that. So light blue. Might need to mix some more of this soon, because I'm not sure I have enough here. Get 
some more of that darker blue. Some white. And George that together. a little. Again, it doesn't matter too much because of that second coat that's coming. Okay, and I think I should do the edge too. One half done. Please don't worry about my table. <laughs> I know it's going to get dirty, but I'll survive. I'm going to wash it off for the first time. Okay. Clean brush. I'm going to get to my... What did I agree on? Pink? That was the other one that doesn't touch the bottom, so let's do that. These corners are the most awkward part to do. Okay. Let's do the underside. Okay, and there's my dish. So, I'm going to let this dry and move on to my other plant pot. Okay, so for this part, I have a slightly simpler design in mind. I already have my little drawing on there, 
And I just want to do like a sort of cream background with the green plants and a green rim. So that's all I got going. I might do this one the same as the rim, the sort of green colour. So, how about we start with the cream background? And to make that cream, I'm going to use a whole bunch of white. With just like the tiniest touch of yellow. too bright for me still. So I'm gonna put a teensiest bit of this brown colour in there as well. Maybe I went too brown. <laughs> it's getting a bit beige. Oh wait, maybe that's good. Is that what I want? Yeah, that is what I want. Okay. No fear. Let's go ahead paint our backdrop. So, I'm just going to start by going around the rim and then around these leaves. Oh, I get the feeling I should have used a smaller brush for this. Okay, let's just do the big open spaces first then. like I'll be able to extrapolate from the leaves <laughs> where the stem was, so I'm going to paint over that. Let's smooth out the sort of brush strokes as much as possible, but I feel like this is going to have to be a second coat job, mainly. I'm just going to use all the rest of this big brush paint in the open areas, and I think I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. That's a little better. I 
because of the care I'm having to take with the shapes, the paint is quite thin. So I hope that doesn't mean I'm going to need many more coats. Honestly, it would probably have been a better idea to do the background first and then paint the leaves on. Or like draw the design of the leaves on, but it did not occur to me <laughs> before doing it, so learn from my mistakes. Oops, when did that go? I think I'm going to have to let this um, dry and do all of the coats of the white before I even start with the leaves, just because it's going to be a real pain to have to do this, <laughs> you know, really carefully around the colour every time. It'd be easier just to cover up the mistakes all in one go at the end.
Okay. It's a bit of a rough job. That's done. And I think I'm gonna wait until I'm doing the leaves as well to do the rim and the saucer because they're gonna be the same color as one of the plants. So let me just smooth this out so I don't have any um, unsightly bumps before we get started on the second coat. Okay, I'm back many coats later. It turns out I needed quite a few, so I did them off screen, this one and the other one. So now I can get back to doing the fun bit. And I've learned from my mistakes, so for the dish and the rim of this one, I'm gonna do like a, um, just like an undercoat of white so that it won't take so many layers when I do the actual color on it. That can dry while I'm doing the rest of it. So I'm just gonna use this um, leftover cream for that. My plan for the dish and for the edge is to make it a sort of like mint green and dotty because that's what I'm going to do to the bigger leaves as well on there. gonna try and use hmm I want it to be quite a clean edge maybe this one because the point will be quite small so I can choose how thick I want the line to be as for the color I'm gonna use these greens and I wanted it to be quite a minty green so I already have this blue which is not far off what I want so I might just add a bit of this green and a bit more white. So. Just a drop of that. And a good bit of white. Yeah, this is too green. Definitely want it lighter than this. So let's squeeze in some more white. I've added up quite a lot, but that's good since we're going to be doing the leaves and the rim and the dish all this shade. Okay, how's that? It's maybe still a bit darker than I want it. And also I think a little too blue. I spoke too soon, so I'm going to add a bit of this cadmium green. Just the tiniest bit though. Okay, we made it, folks. Against all odds. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there because I will use it later. But right now I'm gonna go with my little one. And then I'm doing the bigger leaves. So I think I ought to start by doing the stem down the middle. I'm gonna start at my end point here. Ooh. Now that I'm looking at it on here, that still looks really blue. This is the creative process. Truly. 
I don't need this to be the neatest thing in the world. I think the little hand-painted book is nice. <laughs> Hence the hand-painting. Now the leaves. I'm gonna start on this end again. And I want these ones to be pretty big. make them bigger later, but I'm going to start like that. I'm just going to make sure I get the paint on. Pretty thick, this first layer. You know, since I have so much of it <laughs> anyway. All my leaves done. So I'm gonna go focus my attention back on the on the pot now. I'm gonna use my smaller flat brush for this. I think one of them I'm gonna do in this color undiluted. So let's just stick a bit of that down there. And I'll do that one away from all the pink, so... I'll try and get it as round as I can. <laughs> Is that too dark? Maybe it's too dark. Okay, I'm gonna take some of my infinite green, mix it in there. Oh, it's not too dark anymore. There we go. Maybe that's better. Yeah. God, okay. Now I have to try and do a good circle. It's gonna be hard. about as good as I'm getting, I think, so let's finish that there. I do want it to be a bit darker. I might put in some of this pink. Just see what happens. <laughs> I 
I fear that that was too much though. Ah, uh, you know what? It's just become red again. Is that fun though? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's like a rusty colour. So let's go ahead and use that. Leave it there before I go too far. And just on the outskirts there, just stamping a little bit more with this one. Let's mix that up. Get some yellow in there as well. Well, take some orange maybe. So it's still a teal instead of a blue. There you go, that's perfect. Make sure I don't touch anything wet. And we've got another semicircle. I feel like I'm concentrating so hard <laughs> to try and get the go. Hmm, this one's come out a bit, I did it a bit too square over there. Now I could maybe just correct that by making it all a bit bigger. I'm just going to water it down just a touch because it's a bit like ridgy here. And I'm struggling to get a clean line. I feel like this is like when you do your eyeliner and you do the other eye and it's just a bit too big so you just make the other eye just a bit bigger and that one's too big and then you have to go back Okay, it's already dry, I can't do that Alright, well, <laughs> I think that's as good as it's going to get so let's leave it there So that leaves me just with this one this circle. So I've got the orange, blue, and the purple. I think I'm going to do another purple one because that doesn't match with anything yet. I think that could be nice. So I'm going to use the big brush again for that. I think I'm going to have to mix some more of that. Do a rough shape. Mm -hmm. All right, that was not too bad. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so this is my little shapes. I am going to have to wait for those to dry and then do another layer just to get them nice and opaque. So I'm going to take my attention back to the dish for our small pot. Trying to avoid that pink spot. This is the most annoying thing. I just want to get a clean line, but you got to start it somewhere. There we go. The method is do a full 360. Okay. Same. 
in treatment for the pot. I'm just going to do the inside first, I think. I don't mind if a bit of that purple blotch gets in here, since it's not really going to be seen. You know what, I'm glad I'm doing two at a time, just because it gives me something to do while the paint dries. <laughs> And it's acrylic paint, so it doesn't take that long to dry, actually. Which means I can just sort of go back and forth between them. And I've pretty much marked it out already with where the cream part ends. So it's not too difficult. And these bits seem to be dry already. While I wait for these to dry completely so I can do another coat, I'm going to work on these leaves. Now those ones are going to be a darker green, so I'm going to have to mix a new shade. So I'm using some black for that, and I think I'm going to mix it with this one. I think also just a touch of this one. So this is going to be for the other leaves and also I'm going to do dots on the mint sort of green. So again I'm going to start with my stem. Starting up here. Working my way down. I know that's super wibbly right now, but <laughs> I'll correct it. Don't worry. So, let's get some leaves. These ones, I want to make them all long and thin.
sure there should cram another one in there. Just so they're all paired. <laughs> Maybe. Let's give it a go. Yeah, I like that better. I think I can do the next layer of the mint now. So it's time to put the last details on here now. And that is, in white I want to do just some plants up the side. So I want them to overlap with stuff. So I might do Maybe one following this curve, and then it can go through here. For this, I'm using a gesso primer actually for the plants, just because it's a bit thicker and more opaque than my cheap white paint. <laughs> so I should have to do hopefully one, maybe two layers, and a tiny little thin paintbrush. So, I think I'll do my first one here, and I'm gonna go along this curved bit, and then do maybe a leaf or two in here. Trying to figure out how I'm gonna do it. I might do one sort of little leaf and then one bigger leaf here. So the little leaf will follow this curve. The big one will split off. It's gonna sort of sketch it out. That's my little one. The big one. Split here. Hmm, that one didn't come out so good. Let's see if I can fix it.
Hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna do one more sprig coming out of here. Let's make it nice and thick like that. Okay. I'm gonna do a fern type plant here. I'm gonna start with a leaf up the top. Then let's do a stalk coming down from that. Stalk, I keep saying stalk. Stem? Stem? So there's a little stem. Now let's get some more leaves on there. These are all a bit wibbly, so I think I'm gonna have to clean them up second time round. Just a bit. Plant number two. So I think I've got space for two more. Maybe should I just do one? Yeah, I'll we'll do one. <laughs>
And now we'll do one going that way. So we have part number three. So I'm going to let those dry down a bit before I go over them a second time. So let's move back on to this guy. Now it's just some finishing touches for this one in the shape of many many dots. So let me find my pointy brush. And I'm going to start with these leaves. I'm using that same dark green as the other leaves. And I'm going to dot all over them. Just like that. Hmm. Okay. Two dots in. I'm thinking I want to change my technique. <laughs> Let's try something else. I'm going to use the back. Just dip it in that paint. That was right. I'm a fan, I like that. Okay. So, this is what I'm going for. I'm using the back of my paintbrush just to create a bunch of dots. And they all get kind of small. Eventually, <laughs> that's when you're gonna dip again. Because I want like a, a range of sizes on each leaf.
Oh, it's a little bumpy, so it's going to take a bit longer to dry than the rest. I was thinking about whether I should do the dots on the top bit as well. Would that be cute? Maybe should I just do like a line of green? Could do that, but it would be more difficult. Yeah. I'm going to do a line. So I'm going to get back to my angled brush for that. The bigger one. difficult to hold. Should I do a line from the bottom and the top? Through the middle? I might, yeah, I'll try and do a ring around the bottom and then a ring along the top. I'm going to do a ring around the rim as well. So, with that, this one is complete, and I went over the lines on this one, with the second layer, so this one is done too. So the varnishing is done, it was super easy and it dried really quickly, and so here is my finished product. Starting with my smaller pot, I think this one's really cute, I think the mint colour is really nice. And looking forward to displaying it. And also the texture is really fun on this part. Because of all the little like raised bumps. And then there's the bigger one. Here it is. Complete with dish. I'm really proud of this one. I think this one's my favourite of the two. But I just think the design is really cute and I love the colour scheme. And I'm excited to get a plant in here. <laughs> but this was actually a really fun project and it was really quick. If I'd had a whole day to do it all at once, I think I could have done them in a day. The only time it took really was drying in between layers. And if you use a paint that's not as cheap as mine, it would definitely take less layers. But I want to use up all my old acrylics, so if you want to do the same, Super simple. And if not, then thanks for joining me anyway. I appreciate having you here for the journey. And I hope you'll join me again next time. Bye.